Put me on with one of your friends. You and your girlfriend? Really? Oh, I'm sorry. Why? Long story short, you can try to get some, you, try, you can try to learn, make somebody, you can try to teach somebody how to love you, and if they don't give a fuck, you try to understand yeah, to, it. Yeah, to try to learn your love language? Yeah. I hate that for you. I would meet all her needs, but I wouldn't get shit back. And yeah. what, funny thing is, the one need I asked for was fucking. And that was a problem. That's crazy. So, I when I realized I fucked myself over, like, I killed myself and she was perfectly fine, right. I was what like, oh, he good. Wait, that ain't gonna fall. That ain't gonna be nothing short. Uh, I said it is what it is. And, like, I, that's what I said, honestly. Like, only way we get back together now is if I actually see some real change, but... So you broke up with her? Oh, she broke up. It, what did it was... Everything, like... What's this? I'm trying to think, no. I had let shit build up to where... Right. It, she used it, to beat my ass. What? So where I got PTSD. So where whenever she get in my face and get to yelling... Right. And move her hands, I pushed her. And she right. was like, I'm done with you. Uh, and I turned around and I go, nigga, you turned me into this, like. Exactly. Yeah, so that that was the end of it. And I'm like, oh, don't, don't uh, he good. Together. But I got like three, four different people I can move into whenever the fuck I feel like it. Right. Literally, five people told me, you know you got a, uh, right. you know you got a room. I'm like, right. yeah. Literally. So, Damn, that sucks. Toxic sucks. And that's what she used to ask me, like, are y'all toxic? And I go. I go, you just got a nasty ass attitude. Right. She like, what you mean? I go. And girls with nasty attitudes are not it. Find you a nice. That's what she, no, she would get mad talking about some. I tell her, I'm, I'm going to get a white girl. She go. <laughs> Why? I said, white girls care about everybody. I said, no, not everybody. I said, the but, one, when I dated yeah. one, I said she cared about how I felt, made sure I was I, happy. I am to the point where, like, with Kareem, like, we broke up for like a week one time. But I ain't going to lie. I, I know your ex. Alan. I watched, I watched him grow up, literally. So you know he beat my ass? I saw the video and I called him. I said, is this shit true? And he go, why? I said, because you know I'm going to come beat your ass if this shit is true. Uh, and he ain't really tell me nothing. That kid did so much to me. When I tell you, I was so traumatized for so long what that kid did to me. Because when they used to do that shit growing up, act like they was going to put their hands on girls, I used to walk up and be like, do some stupid shit so I can smack you. No. They'd be like, like Rob, I'm playing. I'm no, like, oh. Like, Alan... Whenever we would fight, he would take my phone from me. He would take my vape from me. He would lock me in my room. He, when I was at work one day, he switched my door handle on my bedroom so that the lock was on the outside. So whenever we'd get in a fight, he would lock me in my room. He would take my phone, take my vape, and for however long. Sometimes it was 30 minutes. like your goddamn daddy. It sounds like a boyfriend. Sometimes it was 30 minutes. Sometimes it was five hours before he would come in and let me have my shit back. No, me and her get an argument, I would just leave. I literally would take my son and leave. But no, he put his hand, he's straight, he's he's facing. I saw the pictures. He's facing felony strangulation charges because he strangled me to the point of unconsciousness. He didn't tell me that. Like, if his friends wouldn't have got got him off of me, he probably would have killed me. That's you that pissed me off. I talked to Seneca and the ones that was there. I said. Seneca and Urson? I said, what? Urson is a bitch. Urson is a bitch. Urson is a bitch. I love Seneca. I'm like, Seneca, what was you doing? He said, Rob, he was like, I didn't want to hurt him. He said, but at the same time, he was like, I didn't know what to do. I'm like, I told him, I said, I said in that situation, if he don't get above her, he's his ass up. I said, I don't give a fuck the situation. And he was like, why? I said, also, I'd like, rather y'all two fight than him hurt her. But also, he was like, the oh. thing is, like, that was just, keep in mind, I dated him for a year. Like, I didn't know if, that. if they think that was the first time he put his hands on me, no, that was just the first time I had people around to protect me. You know how much shit I went through by myself whenever I was alone with him? Yeah, that, that's the part that... That was just the first time I had people there to protect uh, me from him. Like, 
like, I did it Allen for a year. He put his hands on me every fucking day. Every time we fought, he would beat my ass. I tried to leave one time in my apartment complex. I, I walked to the, L well, first of all, he like full-fledged decked me in the face, like with his fist. Broke my glasses, so I had glass in my eye. I was like to the point of panic attack where I wasn't panicked, where all I did was I slowly stood up and I walked out of my door. No shoes, no phone, booty ass, shorts on, a yeah, small little tank top. I just, I just got up. I walked out. Yeah, he wouldn't tell. No, nah, when I called and talked to him, I'm like, bro, so what even happened? He went. He just on. spoke on that one situation. I'm like, no, nah, yeah, tell me everything. Yeah, no. Say no this more. was a whole different time, but he, he, did, he like decked me in the face. So I get up, I calmly walk out the apartment. Next, and I, I'm in the elevator. The elevator is about to close. Next thing I hear him running down the hallway, grabs me by my hair, drags me from the elevator back into my apartment, and then locks me in my bedroom. You know, the only time me and my girl and guys, the worst I've ever did to her was grab her by her throat to get her shot. Yeah. Like, she was like, when I tell you, I'm sitting there, I'm that's sitting there, I got her by her shirt like this, just decking me. So I really went like this, and she was like, I got scared. I'm like, bro, I'm not finna hurt you. That's the thing, though. I've never, even even for self-defense, I've never put my hands on Alan. Like, yeah. I don't put my hands on dudes. I'm a firm believer of if you put your hands on a dude, he has every right to put his hands on you. I don't touch dudes like that. Like, that's... See, my girl is totally different. Her family would tell her, don't put your hands on him. But the minute... She thought they thought I was doing that shit back. That's some bitch, right. that's some bitch shit for a female to hit on dudes, knowing that, that Bro, the I gotta, they try to defend themselves, they the bad guy now. I got a hundred pounds on that girl. Right. If I want to hurt her bad, I could. You exactly. That's crazy. I don't know. Last 